what's going on everybody in this video I'll be showing you how to do the bucket tech aka hydrating substrate for mushroom cultivation the beginning will be the process or how to and after I'll go over some common questions and concerns related to the bucket tech for this method you'll need a stove and a pot to heat up water you'll also need a five gallon bucket with a lid you're gonna need some vermiculite. I use the fine grade. It can be found in most garden centers like Home Depot or Lowe's. You'll also need cocoa coir. You can find this in most pet stores in the reptile section. Try to avoid buying this from the garden section as it could be inoculated with trichoderma. You'll need a measuring cup for measuring water. For this recipe, I use 16 cups of water or four quarts. Add the water to a pot with a lid on it and bring it to a boil. Next we're going to want to add our cocoa core to the bucket. Next we want to add our eight cups of vermiculite to the bucket. Now that we have our main ingredients in the bucket we want to make sure that the water comes up to a boil. Once the water comes to a boil you want to turn the stove off and slowly and carefully pour the water into the bucket with the ingredients. Once the boiling water is in the bucket, you wanna put the lid on the bucket and we're gonna lightly spin it around to mix it up in the bucket. We're gonna wait until the bucket and everything in it cools off to room temperature. This can take eight hours or even longer. Do not use the substrate until it's completely cooled off or it will kill the mycelium. Once it's completely cooled off, we're gonna open the bucket up and we're gonna mix everything up by hand. The substrate on the bottom is usually gonna be more hydrated than the substrate on the top because of gravity. So when you mix it up, you're gonna wanna grab substrate from the bottom and squeeze it onto the substrate on the top like I do in the video, just to redistribute some of the moisture. You want to mix everything extremely well so that there's not clumps of vermiculite or clumps of cocoa coir without vermiculite in it. Once everything is mixed up, you want to check the substrate for the proper field capacity. And you're going to test the field capacity by grabbing a handful of substrate and squeezing it. And only a couple drops of water should come out. With this recipe, it really shouldn't be too oversaturated except for maybe the stuff that's on the bottom. If it is for whatever reason, then get a second container like a big bowl or a bucket and squeeze the substrate over that container and then place it back in this bucket. That way you don't repeatedly add extra water to your substrate. Will this pasteurize or sterilize the substrate? Absolutely not. This will only hydrate the substrate. The temperature is not high enough to pasteurize or sterilize anything. The temperature drops off way too fast to be considered pasteurization or sterilization. How long is the substrate good for? If the bucket stays sealed, the substrate should be good for at least two to three weeks. Anything that's older than that, I would discard and make new substrate. Likewise, if you open the bucket after a week or two to use it and there's a foul smell in there or it smells sour, it's probably contaminated and needs to be discarded. How much substrate does this prepare? This makes about eight quarts of substrate, which is enough for one big mono tub or three to four shoe boxes. And that's going to be it. If you have any more questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.